This podcast is a 98 Studios production. Today's the day, baby. Today's the day. Today's the day. Today's the motherfucking day. Today is the day. Today's the day. Today is the day. Today's the day. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Today's the Day with Zach Anderson. I have one of the last scrolls for you guys this week. Um, it's a phenomenal scroll. I'm going to hold my comments till the end. This one, this one is by far one of the ones that has had the most amount of impact on my life. The one that I go back and read consistently, even when I'm not doing the scrolls in order, um, just to help myself go. Um, this is the scroll mark nine. This is the scroll called I will act now. My dreams are worthless. My plans are dust. My goals are impossible. All are of no value unless they are followed by action. I will act now. Never has there been a map, however carefully executed to detail and scale, which carrier its own over even one inch of ground, which carried its owner over even one inch of ground. Never has there been a parchment of law, however fair, which prevented one crime. Never has there been a scroll, even such as the one I hold, which earned so much as a penny or produced a single word of acclamation. Action alone is the tinder which ignites the map, the parchment, the parchment, the scroll, my dreams, my plans, my goals into a living force. Action is the food and drink which will nourish my success. I will act now. My procrastination which has held me back was born of fear and now I recognize this secret mind from the depths of courageous hearts. Now I know that to conquer fear I must always act without hesitation and the flutters in my heart will vanish. Now I know that action reduces the lion of terror to an ant of equanimity. That's a big word. I will act now. Henceforth, I will remember the lesson of the firefly who gives off its light only when it is on the wing, only when it is in action. I will become a firefly even in the day my glow will be seen in spite of the sun. Let others be as butterflies who preen their wings yet depend on the charity of a flower for life. I will be as the firefly, and my light will brighten the world. I will act now. I will not avoid the tasks of today and charge them to tomorrow, for I know that tomorrow never comes. Let me act now, even though my actions may not bring happiness or success, for it is better to act and fail than not to act and flounder. Happiness in truth may not be the fruit plucked by my action, yet without action all fruit will die on the vine. I will act now. I will act now, I will act now, I will act now. Henceforth, I will repeat these words again and again and again, each hour, each day, every day, until the words become as much a habit as my breathing and the action follows will become as instinctive as the blinking of my eyelids. With these words, I can condition my mind to perform every act necessary for my success. With these words, I can condition my mind to meet every challenge which the failure avoids. I will act now. I will repeat these words again and again and again. When I wake, I will say them and leap from my cot while the failure sleeps yet another hour. I will act now. When I enter the marketplace, I will say them and immediately confront my first prospect while the failure ponders yet his possibility of rebuff. I will act now. When I face a closed door, I will say them and knock while the failure waits outside with fear and trepidation. I will act now. When I face temptation, I will say them and immediately act to remove myself from evil. I will act now. When I am tempted to quit and begin again tomorrow, I will say them and immediately act to consummate another sale. I will act now. Only action determines my value in the marketplace, and to multiply my value, I will multiply my actions. I will walk where the failure fears to walk. I will work when the failure seeks to rest. I will talk when the failure remains silent. I will call on ten who can buy my goods while the failure makes grand plans to call on one. I will say it is done before the failure says it's too late. I will act now. For now is all I have. Tomorrow is the day reserved for the labor of the lazy. I am not lazy. Tomorrow is the day when the evil become good. I'm not evil. Tomorrow is the day when the weak become strong. I'm not weak. Tomorrow is the day when the failure will succeed. I'm not a failure. I will act now. When the lion is hungry, he eats. When the eagle has thirst, he drinks. Lest they act, both will perish. I hunger for success. I thirst for happiness and peace of mind. 
Lest I act, I will perish in a life of failure, misery, and sleepless nights. I will command, and I will obey mine own command. I will act now. Success will not wait. If I delay, she will become betrothed to another and lost to me forever. This is the time. This is the place. I am the man. I will act now. Oh, this this scroll in particular, this one, scroll nine, I will act now, is a scroll that I read so many times in addition to the amount of times I was quote unquote supposed to read it with the challenge that goes along with the book. I read this whenever I felt myself moving slow um, in my career, multiple different times and speaking directly to my door to door crowd. This was the one I relied on for confidence when I had no confidence. When I had zero confidence and I felt like all my competition was burying me and I didn't see any light at the end of the tunnel and I was in the toughest market somewhere I didn't want to be and I, and I was making all these excuses, this is the scroll that dug me out of it. And the reason it dug me out of it is because I would read it and I would immediately do the next thing that was closest to me that was going to move me towards my goals no matter how small it was. And when I would read this, I would turn my brain off and I would go. And that doesn't mean immediately after I'd find success, but it, it, it always, always, always dug me out of a hole. And I love, I love this scroll. I love it. There's so many pieces of it that are so key and so important, but it's a really, really simple thing to remember. I will act now. And as it goes through, there's a few things that I, that I absolutely want to go and highlight, right? I love how this scroll opens. It says, my dreams are worthless. My plans are dust. My goals are impossible. All are of no value unless they are followed by action. And I love that because so many people, it's, it's almost cliche and cool to go and, and have positive affirmations. And these are all great things. I'm not making fun of any of these things, but keep in mind, it's so cliche and so cool to go set goals and have positive affirmations and have this vision board. I know so many people with a vision board that wake up three hours later than they plan to every day and they don't do a single thing to move them towards their dream board. That's exactly what this is saying at the beginning. My dreams are worthless. My plans are dust. My goals are impossible. All are of no value unless they're followed by action. And I think it's the most important part of the formula to success, achievement, fulfillment, whatever you want to call it. There's a formula. This plus this plus this plus this equals this. And the formula to get all those things that I just listed, the biggest part of the formula that if it is missing, there is no chance you even come close to this result is action. And that's what this scroll goes over. And I think it's so freaking important. It talks about procrastination, so on and so forth. It talks about fear, everything. Action squashes all of those things. One part that sticks out to me so much because I, I'm, I think as I got into the workplace and door-to-door -door sales, I operated a lot out of fear. Fear was the conquering emotion that really held me back a lot of the time. And this specific part of this scroll, I remember it so clear. I remember specific places I was in Memphis, Tennessee, Little Rock, Arkansas, standing there in the middle of a neighborhood reading this, this section right here. It says, now I know that to conquer fear, I must always act without hesitation and the flutters in my heart will vanish. Now I know that action reduces the lion of terror to an ant of equanimity, right? Like that was what I needed to hear in those moments and the very, very key parts of it. Now I know that to conquer fear, so to get over whatever it is that, that's holding me back right now, I must always act without hesitation. I would literally get to that point in the scroll many times, and I'm not supposed to read it, but I just needed something to get me out of this place of fear that I was operating in. And I would turn my phone off and I would start walking directly to my next prospect. And like, that's how literal I took this stuff. And it's insane. The butterflies go away. The fear goes away. All these worries go away. The doubts go away. Oh, everyone's going to notice that, that I didn't go and accomplish what I set out to accomplish goes away. All these things go away. And then I'm just working again and then I can get into flow and then I can go and do the, the task at hand and accomplish what I want to accomplish. And I love, love, love that passage specifically in this. I, I love it to death. And now 
the end of it I love as well. And like, obviously you guys know, I love this idea and this theory because the name of the podcast and what we talk about with every guest and says for, for now is all I have. Tomorrow is the day reserved for the labor of the lazy. I am not lazy. Tomorrow is the day when evil become good. I am not evil. Tomorrow is the day when the weak become strong. I am not weak. Tomorrow is the day when the failure will succeed. I am not a failure. And like that, that, Everyone says don't procrastinate. Like that's what we all know and we hear. That's what I hear when I think of that. I think, dude, I'm not lazy. I'm not a loser. I'm not a failure. I'm not weak. So it doesn't need to wait till tomorrow. I can do it right now. Whatever it is, I can do it right now. And that talks about how people, you can't wait for things to be done tomorrow. You can't wait to do things tomorrow because tomorrow doesn't come. And sometime that will be true. At some point in everyone's existence, there will be a day where that is 100% true and tomorrow doesn't come. And I think it's so profound. I think it's so important. I think it's so overlooked. I think it's amazing. And I love it. Like I love, 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 love it. Right. And and this goes, this goes with everything, man. Like I've, I've, I've internalized this scroll and I've used it for work to go and work and make more money and go find higher achievements and accomplishments. And then I've also used it to go develop relationships I have this great idea that that could be so, and I'm not perfect at this by any means. I'm just saying the scrolls help me in more ways than one. I'm not perfect in this sense. But I think of like, oh, this date night could be amazing. Like that could do a ton for my relationship right now. And rather than think about it for a few weeks and months and years and then let it go away, because I'm very guilty of doing that occasionally, when I just go and do it, and maybe it's not planned out perfectly, but I just go do it. Like now, today, I go spend the time with my siblings that I want to, or my girlfriend or my friends, or this friend I know is struggling or whatever. And I just go do it, go do the thing, whatever it is. The reward is like insurmountable. It's amazing. And, and it's, it's the best way to go navigate through life because thinking about things is usually much harder than actually doing them. So that's again, the scroll mark, the, the scroll number nine, right? I will act now is one of my favorite scrolls. Go read this freaking book. You guys, every time I read another scroll, it's hard to read out loud on camera, but every time I read, I'm like, dang, like these are so monumental. They're so good. They're such compact with gold nuggets. So if that's what you hop on the podcast for, which if you're hopping on to listen to these podcasts in specific, I know you're trying to get gold nuggets, go do the work and read the book. It's so good. And then go do the scrolls and then reach out to me and give me your experiences. I'd love to hear how this is impacting you guys or even just listening to it and implementing it, how it impacts you guys. Reach out anytime. I'd love to hear it. So as always, you guys, thank you guys for tuning in. The only reason we keep doing these podcasts is because of you guys. Um, So I, I thank you guys. I love you guys. And until next time, much love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, As always, it was a blast for me. I hope you got something out of this. If you got something out of this video of value, share this with a friend and please go show your love. We're on all streaming platforms, including YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. Any ratings, comments, likes, shares, they go a very long way and they make it so I can keep doing these things for you. And I would appreciate it greatly. So please go share with a friend. Until next time.